Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and today I want to talk about the throttle, the prop, and the mixture controls and how to use them. In the Cessna 172 we have a throttle control and a mixture control and that's pretty easy to understand. The throttle is the same as in a car, you push the throttle and the engine RPM increases in the car and the airplane, they go faster. The mixture control is a little more complicated and that's used to control the air ratio flowing to the engine. At sea level, the barometric pressure is around 29 inches of mercury. But the higher we go in altitude, the lower the barometric pressure becomes we lose about one inch of mercury for every thousand feet of altitude we gain. Now I bet you've all heard it said that the air is thinner as we go higher in altitude. So the higher we are flying, the thinner the air. So we need to adjust the fuel air ratio to compensate for the thinner air or the lower pressure. And we do this by pulling back on the mixture control which lessens the amount of fuel to air entering the engine. This is called leaning the mixture. We are leaning the mixture by pulling out this control. Have you ever been behind a car belching out a bunch of black smoke? That's because the fuel to air ratio is too high and we see it's too rich a mixture or too much gas for the amount of air. Now too lean or too rich a mixture can cause serious damage to the engine. So that's the throttle and the mixture controls. But what about this blue knob we have here? It's on the Baron 58. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So here we are in the Baron 58. And the Baron has a third control, the blue levers here and this is called the prop and you use the throttle and the prop controls together to control the speed and power so there are a multitude of combinations to choose from for the best performance for the airplanes airplanes with prop controls have what are called constant speed propellers and there's an advantage for constant speed props over the fixed props Without going into a lot of detail, think about a car that only has one gear, no transmission. The faster you drive, the higher the engine RPM. High RPM wastes fuel, and the car will only be efficient at a certain speed. Now you could set a gear ratio for quick starts in a car but then it would not be efficient at high speeds. You would have a very high RPM if you set it for a quick start. You could set a gear ratio for a high speed, but then the car would be very sluggish getting to speed, and you'd have very poor power at low speeds. Now adding a transmission to the car makes it possible to have power for starting and moving quickly, and also for running at high speeds. By shifting the gears or changing the gear ratio, so the engine runs at an efficient RPM for starting and for cruising down the highway or the Audubon. This saves wear and tear on the engine and it's much more fuel efficient. And that's kind of what a constant speed propeller can accomplish in an airplane. The blue prop control in the Baron rotates the propeller blade so it takes little or big bites of air. I'm sure you all have held your arm out the window of your car while driving fast and rotated your hand from palms facing down to the ground to opening your palm up to the wind. Your arm would rise and fall as you turned your hand up and down. You also needed more strength to keep your arm straight out as your palm rotated up into the wind. Well, a constant speed propeller works the same way. The prop control rotates the propeller the same way you rotated your hand and arm into the wind. 
So let's step outside and see if we can actually see that working on the Baron. All right, what I did is I shut down the right engine and I have the left engine running. And with the prop control fully forward, you can barely make out the blade here. It is taking a very small bite of air. If you look at the right engine, this is in the full backwards position, or I've pulled the blue knob all the way back, and you can see it's taking a very large uh, bite of air here. Now, if I pull the blue knob back, watch the left propeller, and you'll see it rotate. Unfortunately, it doesn't simulate this very well. It just kind of goes from um, this position to the full open position, or the big bite like that. So there you have it. So now this is with the prop control pulled all the way back. So all the way back, you have a big bite of air. This would be like having the palm of your hand facing almost straight into the wind. And with, with a prop control all the way forward, this will rotate this way. It'll be very flat here, taking a very small bite of the air. Now you use this forward position, it's kind of like a low gear in the car for when you're taking off. You have full engine power here, and the car is in low gear. Now for cruising altitude, like driving on the freeway or the Audubon, you adjust the throttle and the prop control to get the best performance from the engine, like shifting into high gear or overdrive in the car. So for takeoff, prop control is all the way forward, low gear. After you take off, you can reduce the RPM to 2500 with the prop control. And with the throttle control, reduce the manifold pressure to 25 inches. And you would use this for climbing. This reduction in speed reduces the stress on the engine. For cruising altitude, manifold pressures can be set from between 19 and 23 inches and an RPM around 2,300. That's a good rule of thumb. So let's get up in the air and see what this looks like. Okay, we've been climbing to our cruise altitude of 11,400 feet. We had our manifold pressure at 25 and our RPM at 2,500. Because of our altitude, we have lost some of this pressure. But now we want to level off and cruise at this altitude. So now, using the blue prop lever, we are going to bring our RPM down to 2,300 RPM right here. And with our throttle, we are going to lower our manifold pressure down to 22. And this is a pretty good setting for cruising. Obviously, you can set these anywhere you want. You have these green areas here. I think uh, for your simulator, keeping things in the green will be fine. Notice you have a red line here for RPM. You don't want to run past that for too long. You will do some damage to the engine. And for our fuel flow and for our mixture setting, we want to bring back our mixture setting a little bit. We're going to watch the exhaust gas temperature here. This is exhaust gas temperature. And here is the cylinder head temperature. But as we pull the mixture lever back, you can see that the exhaust gas temperature drops and our fuel flow drops. So at this altitude, we're just going to pull it back a little bit until the exhaust gas temperature starts to drop slightly. And we're going to leave it right there. With more altitude, we would drop this back even farther. So to fly the Baron, you need to watch your manifold pressure, your RPM, and your temperatures. The exhaust gas temperature can help you to get the correct mixture. Moving the mixture control will cause the exhaust gas temperature to increase or decrease. You usually don't have to adjust this mixture until you're above 3,000 feet. To get the best fuel mixture, you move the mixture level and watch the exhaust gas temperature. 
try to adjust it for the highest or the peak value. There are other things to consider, but uh, for the simulator, this works just fine. So to go over this one more time, for takeoff under 3,000 feet, the prop and the mixture are full forward, and you use full throttle, obviously, for the takeoff. Shortly after takeoff, say around 500 feet, you want to reduce uh, the RPM with the prop control to 2,500 RPM and reduce the manifold pressure with the throttle control to 25 inches. This just is better for the engine, it's more efficient and it puts less stress on the engine. For cruising, the manifold pressure should be between 19 and 23 inches and you use the throttle control uh, for that and the RPM around 2,300 using the prop controls to adjust these as necessary. And again, this is like high gear and overdrive in the car. So that's it for the prop and the mixture controls. I hope this helped you some. If you like this, please click the like button. If you'd like to leave a message, that would be great, or a comment. Uh, and thank you again so much for watching, and God bless.